This video is going to be about using the spray equipment and how to apply glaze by using the spray gun. This is our studio spray gun. It comes in three parts. And this part screws down onto the top of the gun. And this is the cap. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fill this with glaze and get ready to spray your piece. But before we start, I want to talk to you about why I would choose the spraying application for a particular form. And two of the considerations that I usually take when I'm going to choose to use the spraying method. One is that this piece has a very delicate surface to it. So in order to dip or pour it, I might damage some of the, the surface, the additional pieces I have on this. And I've also used a particular type of surface treatment that really requires spraying several different things over each other. Another reason why I might choose uh, to do spraying on my piece is because it has a lot of texture to it and detail. And if I put too much glaze on that by pouring or dipping, I might lose some of that detail and also this is a fairly large piece and it's something that's difficult for me to handle in the dipping or pouring process and spraying makes that a little bit easier. This is another piece that I would definitely use the spraying technique because one it's just so difficult to pick up and deal with as far as pouring or dipping or any of the other spray applications, and because it has a very delicate surface treatment to it also. So for this piece, spraying is pretty much the only method that you could use to do the glazing work. So now we're ready to go outside and spray, but first we have to fill up the container with glaze. One thing that's really, really important about this process is screening the glaze through a small screen like this to get out of the, all the particles out that could potentially clog up the spray gun and keep it from being able to spray. So I want to do that. I want to mix the glaze up. You always have to mix your glaze up really well. And I'm going to run it through this small screen. Take a ladle and just scoop some of the glaze out and pour it right through the screen and into the cup. And I'm going to fill the cup up almost all the way full. Okay, that's good. And now, when I pull the screen out, if you look in there, you can see some little particles that are in the bottom of the screen, and that's what we're trying to get out of there before we uh, try to shoot the glaze through the gun so we don't clog it up. That's really important. Now I want to put the cap on here so I don't spill it on the way out to the spray booth. So we're out here at the spray booth, and the first thing that we have to do is connect the gun to this quick connect. This is the airline. And then the other thing that's right here is that this is the ventilation system, and you turn that on by flicking the switch. Okay, that is the exhaust system. This is where the gun sits. You can rest the gun on this hook while you're preparing your piece over here, and then when you're ready to do the spray, you have to pull this sleeve down and insert the gun into this sleeve like this and then let that slide up until it clicks. Now when I pull on this, it's safely secured onto the end of the spray gun. Okay, and the other thing that's important here is that if you're going to do a lot of spraying, it's always a good idea to wear a mask uh, because there's so much dust that, and, that accumulates and it gets in the air. It's a little bit unhelpful and we do sell these masks in the studio uh, for like 50 cents or something like that. So for your own safety, it's always a good idea to wear a mask while you're spraying. Now, I'm not going to wear one because I need to talk to you and explain to you what I'm doing, but for you, wearing a mask would be a good idea. I've got my piece set up in the spray booth. This is our nice big spray booth, 
and there's a, a banding wheel in here so I can rotate it as I work on it. And as you can see, this is quite a large piece and it has these additions on the surface. And for me to pick that up or try to deal with it by pouring glaze uh, would be really troublesome. So the, this is a piece that is really best off spray. Now what I've done is I've already sprayed a glaze over the entire surface of it. Uh, and that's one particular color. And now I'm going to spray a little bit more glaze as sort of an accent to certain areas on the piece to sort of blend and change the color in those areas. And that's another really good reason to use the spray gun because you can control a very thin application on your piece rather than dipping and getting a pretty substantial surface layer. So, there's a few th tricks about spraying that you need to know. And one is you want to pull the trigger back all the way on the gun while you're working most of the time. The other thing is, is that you don't want to get too close to the piece because it'll drench it and start to drip unless that's what you want. But if you want an even surface, you need to stay about 12 to 8 inches back and move your hand up and down or back and forth in kind of a rhythmic motion. I'll show you that when I get started. Um, so, first I'm going to test the gun by spraying it into the back of the booth and making sure I get the glaze to come out sufficiently. Then I don't know I don't have any clogs or any problems in the gun. It's ready to go. And now I can start spraying. Okay, now I'm going to move this a little bit. And as you can see, as I spray, it kind of goes in a direction. And I can use that as part of my design a little bit to spray across the piece in different angles. See how that works? It goes across at an angle and that way it's sort of a blend. Now I'm not moving the spray gun real radically. My motions are fairly smooth and simple. And I'm keeping the gun at a steady distance away from the object. And I can rotate the object and see and make sure. I think I'm going to spray a little this way here. pretty good. I think that this is done. This is another piece that I would choose for spraying because it's a very sculptural object and it has a lot of surface detail to it. And if I dip that into a glaze, I would get too much of a layer of glaze and I would lose some of that sculptural quality of the object. So by spraying, I can apply a very thin coat of glaze to it. I can still get color on the object without losing a lot of its surface detail. This is really an ideal object for spray application. Okay, now I'm going to stand about right here and spray. Okay, that looks good. Now I've sprayed and you see as I was spraying, I kept rotating the object and spraying from different view angles to get in from this angle and to cover up all the detail and get a glaze around all the, the hair and all the different parts of this. Oh, I see I spot I missed. Okay. And 
keep rotating and check the object to make sure you don't have any blank areas before you stop spraying. That's the last thing. Oh, I see another one. Maybe a little more under here. Okay. So now this is done. I've got a nice thin application and it looks like I've got it covered all the way around. And now that I've finished spraying, I have to do something. I have to clean out the gun and this is really important because if glaze gets left inside the gun and it dries, it'll clog up the gun and ruin it. So what you need to do is dump out the glaze that you were spraying back into whatever bucket it went into. Fill this container with water. Bring it back out here to the spray booth. Reconnect it to the hose and then empty this canister into the spray booth and this at the same time you clean the spray booth and the spray gun. You do that just by pulling the trigger and spraying the water and cleaning up the glaze in here until this empties and this is real important. Once you've cleaned the spray gun out there's still some residue of glaze left in the booth. There's a hose located right over here. This is where I have it. I turn the hose on and just go ahead and spray it down and remove the rest of the glaze from the booth. 